Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be decorating the pages in my horizontal planner for the week of December 7th through the 13th. And I plan on doing a Christmas theme spread. I'm going to use an older sticker book. It's called Christmas Joy. I want to use like the Nutcracker stickers in here because they're really cute. All of these possibly. And I was thinking of pairing it with a new sticker book that I bought. It's it's not a Happy Planner sticker book, but it is a gorgeous new sticker book that is still available if you want to um, pick one up for yourself. It is this huge floral sticker book from Live Love Posh. Uh, she used to be, she was on the squad last year. Her name's Jessica and she's awesome. She comes out with these really pretty floral sticker books. I have her first one. This is her second sticker book. I haven't used her first one. I don't know why I haven't, but I, I need to start incorporating this more into my spreads because they're just so pretty. Um, and they're huge. Like if you see them compared to the Happy Planner one, they're just like huge. Uh, so this book is $20 plus shipping. So it's a pretty good deal considering like how big it is. And um, I wanted to use these florals because she has some like Christmas themed ones. She has ones for everything. Like there's some Valentine's Day stuff. There's some New Year's ones. Oh, these are for New Year's too. Those are really pretty. But I wanted to use these because they're the Christmas ones. Oh, and there's some little ornaments and little banners. I might use those too. I feel like they'll go well with these. Let me check again. I think they will. Yeah. I mean, they're green. I'm going to make it work. It's really pretty. So I'm going to use those two to decorate these pages. Um, if you want to, oh, well, here's her little card. Her little, she gave you like a really cute thank you card. Um, so here are her, like her Instagram and her website. I'll, and I'll make sure to link all of it too. So if you want to check it out, you can. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this corner piece. For sure going in a corner i think oh there's actually two pages the exact page so i'm trying to figure out if i want to do i mean i definitely want to put it over here so i'm just trying to figure out where i would want the other one to go okay i know for sure this one's going to go here so i'm just going to put it like going off the page like right up against the page like that So cute. Oh, and let me let me figure out this banner. This, maybe I'll do okay, they'll do florals here and I can do like ornaments hanging down. And then I got this little cute banner. Let me see where I could possibly put this. Oop. Let's stick it on here. Oh, the stickers are actually really nice. They yeah, they're they're a good quality sticker. I'm gonna put that one there. Okay, so that's gonna go here. I'll just have to cut that hole. All right, and then I do, like I said, I want to put these little nutcracker ones. I'm just gonna grab them. I kind of like just the ballerinas. I don't know if I'm just gonna add them. should add the nutcrackers now. I think the trees would be good. I have to like maybe put a couple more of these stickers down and then see if I want to add in all of those. Because I'm not sure now. Alright. I'm going to get oh I pulled from different sheets. Okay I'm going to get some of these ornaments. put one over here maybe like a smaller one. Oh, and there's little presents oh my gosh these are so cute okay you know what else I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some functional stuff because I need like boxes 
this planner I use for just journaling, um, but I do want to get some boxes down. I like to sometimes have boxes around the page to write in. So I'm going to have to pull another sticker book. Okay, so I have a mega rainbow sticker book. I'm going to see if this box will work in here and this spread. It's kind of bright. But you know what? I think I'm just going to make it work. I don't know where I want to put it. Okay. Oh, and I have circles. Hmm. I have no idea what I want to do. Okay. Let me figure this out. I do like this little ballerina. She's super cute. Maybe I should just put her in here. Okay, I'm going to stick her there. I think that looks cute. And then I could put this girl maybe up here. But I'll probably put a box so that way like it doesn't look like she's just floating. See, that's too high. Okay, I'm going to lower this up a bit. Maybe I'll put like a floral with this box. So I think there were like, yeah, there are these really pretty florals I can add. And I kind of want to tuck it under this. Like that. Cute. Okay. And then, oh, maybe I can add an ornament. I'm going to push all this down since that's staying there. Oh, I have these ornaments. I don't know if I should add them over here or like somewhere else. But I know I do want to add them. Oh, and then I have these cute presents. Maybe I could do presents like over here. Okay, so I just added a couple of presents there. And I'll probably add some more presents somewhere else. And I have these like little leaves. I think I'm going to add in here. Oh, you know what? I should have probably put that, like, under these. I always forget. With, like, layering paper stickers is always a little tricky. But, yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. So, since I have that color box, I'm going to put another one over here on this side. Since I think that works with this spread. So, I can use another one over here on this side. I think I want it there. Alright. Cute. And I'm still trying to figure out how I want to put the ornaments because I do really, really like the ornaments. I just don't know how I want to incorporate it onto the page. Let me see. I should just have them like hanging a little bit like this, just a little cluster. And I could do another one over here. Yeah. Like a smaller one. Oh my gosh. Sorry. The papers keep moving everywhere. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty. Alright. Really cute. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to put the nutcracker in this spread. I don't know. Now I don't know if I want him in the spread. If I should just keep it the ballerinas. Only because of the color palette. Like, I don't mind. I don't know. Maybe a tree? I don't know. Possibly. Okay, I'm gonna get more boxes. Maybe I can find like a blue, like this kind of blue. I have a circle. Preferably would want a rectangle of some kind. Hmm. Oh, I should have like find some of these too. 
my quotes. This one's cute, so let's choose to shine. I could use that one. That one's pretty. And in these smaller boxes. Oh, I forgot I pulled this box. This blue one. This will work. I'm gonna put this one over here. And I have a smaller blue one. I'm just gonna add that here. I just like randomly put them in. There's no like, for me, I just, wherever I think it looks good, that's where I'm gonna put it. And then when I actually use this spread, I'll just write wherever I want. Cause it's just for journaling. So I just find an empty box and I'll write in it. That's basically what I do in this spread. Okay, so I have circle stickers that match or go. So I don't know if I should use these. Or if I, I think I just want to keep it like boxes. And I still have this, which I think is really pretty. Okay, I think I have to think a little bit on how else I want to... I, I need to find more boxes. That's what I need to do. Um, because I don't have enough boxes, I think, to go around. And I wish I had more of the ballerinas, which I don't think I do. Let me see. I think I might have a clear one, actually. Oh, I have the mouse. The mouse king. He kind of goes with this spread, actually. But then I feel bad, because if I don't add the nutcracker in, it's like the whole theme. I think I might add the nutcracker in. <laughs> Because I feel like I can't have this spread without a nutcracker, to be honest. I should add them here. Then I feel like I have to add in red, too, on top of it, so. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put him here, lightly put him there, and then see if I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to add him here. I do like how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to have to add in red. Just to tie in this red that I'm adding in this nutcracker. Um, which I think should be fine. I think I should be able to find a red, like a few red stickers. Especially in this book. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to find red. Oh, I know. And my, um, my gut sticker book. I think I have red. Okay, I have this and this. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I actually love like red and like blue and green together. So just for like Christmas decorating, I think it's a pretty color combo. So I'm gonna put that box there. And I'm gonna put this one over here somewhere just to get red on this side too. But I'm like lightly putting them down because I'm still not 100% sure on the red. Uh, I don't know. I feel like just leaving him honestly as the red, the only red maybe, I don't know. I just don't like the boxes. I'm being like super picky. I'll find another way to incorporate red, but I do like how all of the little characters are on the page. So I'm gonna leave it like that and just continue on with the color scheme that I have, even though I have like that red. It helps to make him stand out at least, like he pops on the page. Maybe I could do another one of these corner pieces. I normally don't do like corner piece right across from each other, but I don't know, these are just too pretty and I just wanna use them. And I'm going to be covering up the day of the week, but I think that should be fine. That's also something I normally don't like to, look, to do either, but I think, I don't know, I feel like that might be good. Just to frame it on the bottom like that. Okay, I found this quote in the winter sticker book. It says, tis the season to sparkle. I'm going to see if I can add this somewhere on the page, because I feel like I need a quote. 
I kind of like it here. Okay, so I had to add that off camera. I was going to uh, cover up this line because it's like really bold, but I actually don't mind that it breaks it up to the season to sparkle. At least I can read all of it, so that's good. So I'm not going to cover up that line. I kind of want to grab another present just to stack on top of this. And I prefer... I don't know if I should do... No. I was going to do this one, but... I don't know. I kind of like this one, too. Which, actually, I already pulled one. It's, it's too big. I'm going to leave it like that. I think it looks fine like that. Okay. I think this side looks good. It looks full enough. Um, I still have enough space to write, but I like the way this looks. I'm trying to figure out how to add ornaments on this side because I do want like some of the ornaments over here just to tie it in. And I do have a few left that I can possibly use. Maybe like some of these smaller ones. Just try to figure that out right now. I feel like it's a little too much right there. Okay, I think I'm going to scratch the ornaments on that side. Um, and then just leave it as it is. But I do want some more stuff over here because I feel like it's a little empty. Um, let me go back into, into uh, the winter or the Christmas sticker book. and see if there's anything in here I can add. Oh, washi. Maybe that's what it is. I need to add washi onto the spread. So it feels a little like missing something. I'm going to add in some of these because they are the colors that I'm using, like this color, just to add some of it around the page. That one says follow la la la. Uh, I have one that says warm wishes. Can I use that one? over here. I just like to kind of just scatter them around the page. And then I have one that says good tidings. Let's put that there. Oops. But yeah, I do want to put washi because I feel like that's what I'm missing. I'm missing some washi. I just don't know which washi I want to use that'll go with this spread. Okay, so I have some of my washi. I'm trying not to use like a black and white washi. That's normally my go-to mainly because it's really easy to just make it go with any of my spreads. Whereas like all of these different colors, I feel like I have to get kind of close to what I'm using in this spread in order for it to work. I have this one right here. It's like a green, to like a dark green and a, and a lighter green with like a, or like a diagonal strike stripe. So I think I'm gonna use this because I feel like it kind of goes with the color scheme in here. It's not a perfect match, but I think it kind of matches a little bit. I don't know. It's a little bit of green. I actually don't mind that. That little pop of green. So I'm just going to add this around the page. Okay, so I added just a few pieces of washi around the page, and I really like how that looks. I'm telling you, like, washi for me always, like, makes things look a lot better, in my opinion. Um... Because I feel like, okay, I'm almost, like, done. Because I just, I don't know, I just love that little pop of green on the page. That's just what I needed. Alright, so I I like these little, like, quotes and stuff. I kind of want to add more of them. I don't have any more of the, the well, I don't want to add any more blue ones. I would prefer to add in, like, a different color that could possibly go with this color scheme. I don't know if I'll have any in this book because the other ones were kind of bright. So I don't want to pull those in. Or maybe just like another quote. Oh, I have these still too. I don't know if I should add these in. I do have this little present. Okay, maybe that 
that'll stay there. Oh, and then I have like these little, they look like little snowflakes maybe? They're in blue. I could scatter some of these around the page. So I started scattering them around the page and then I realized, oh, I can use them as bullet points, of course. Um, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use them as bullet points. I feel like that'll be better uh, for this spread. I did want bullet points, so that's good. I'm going to put one here. I could put one here. I'm actually going to add, actually no, I'll put two here. Alright, that's cute. I don't know if I should add one here since I don't have a box on that day. Let's put one there. Alright, cool. I actually really like how it looks. It's really pretty. I found some more little banner type stickers that I can add around the page in the winter sticker book. I feel like this one might be able might work. Either this one. No, I think I like this one. there and then I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put coffee first here because I just think that's cute right there just to tie in another one of those colors and let's see if there's anything else Okay, so I ended up removing the present. I know, switching my, changing my mind all over again. I'm gonna just put this blue or this greenish box here. And honestly, I think with that, I'm done. It looks so cute. I love, love, love how it turned out. It's not what I thought I was gonna do when I first started, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna put this back in my planner. All right, so that is my Nutcracker themed horizontal spread. It's so pretty. Like I mentioned before, I will make sure to link down in the, in the description this sticker book because this one is still available and it is gorgeous. I don't, I never did a flip through. I should have done a flip through of this before I used it. I don't know why I didn't, um, but it's really, really pretty. I'm sure there are flip throughs of, I, I don't, if, if I can find a flip through, I'll, I'll link it from somebody else. Um, if you want to check it out, but it's really, really pretty, this one. And it's only 20 bucks plus shipping, which is a really good deal. And then, of course, I, the rest of the stickers are all Happy Planner. And also the washi, too, because I get lots of questions about washi. All the washi that I use in my spreads is Happy Planner. That tends to be what I use. Um, but yeah, that is my spread. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.